This video presentation is brought to you by the Pro Mathematics Academy. Welcome back to another video presentation brought to you in part by the Pro Mathematics Academy. In this video, we'll be continuing our series on set theory, right? And we begin by looking at what we call the subset. Here we start with the definition, right? And the subset is a set, right, whose members are all a part of a larger set called the superset, okay? So here, we to recognize that we use the symbol to denote is a subset of. So here we see A, B, which means A is a subset of B. So whenever we read this, it should instantly ring in our minds, right, that A is a subset of B, okay? Note that there's a special set called the empty set, which I'll define at this time, right, which is the set that contains um, nothing, <laughs> <laughs> right? And it is a subset of all sets. All right? Now, we'd, we will have to get to higher level mathematics before we can really understand why the empty set is a subset of all sets. All right? We use a symbol, right, to represent the empty set. All right? And notice that the empty set is sometimes called a null set. So sometimes you'll hear me say empty set or null set. They are the same. Okay? And we use the symbol to represent the empty set, which contains no elements at all, all right? So let's jump into an example. So here, this question says, find all the subsets of A, right? Find all the subsets of A if A is equal to 1, A3, all right? So notice I start off this example by first writing down the null set. So once we're asked to write down all the subsets of a set, we should always start with the null set. Then we start with the set containing only one element, okay? So here we have the set containing one, the set containing a, and the set containing three. Then we have the set containing one and a, the set containing one and three. Here I'm missing my curly braces. Here we have the set containing a and 3, and then finally, we have the set containing 1, A and 3. So notice that A is a subset of itself, right? So let's make a note of that. A is a subset of itself, okay? So whenever we're writing down subsets, I would recommend that we always start with a null set and work our way progressively until we get to the same set, okay? Next, I define the power set, okay? The power set, and some might argue that the idea of a power set is above your level, right? But I believe it is very important, and so here we look at the power set, and when we talk about the power set of a set, right? So here, if we're considering A from our previous example, writing down the power set of A involves writing down All of these terms that we already listed, So let's do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. So what do we realize? We realize that the power set, right, is the set of all subsets. Okay, that's the definition of the power set. Right, so now we write down the power set, right? And by writing down the power set, we can now answer this fundamentally important question. Right? The formula for the number of subsets of a set, hmm. right, is equal to n, right, where n is 2 raised to the power number of elements of the set, okay? Notice that this is the same as the number of elements in the power set of A, okay? 
So the number of elements in the power set is equal to the number of subsets. And the number of subsets is equal to 2 raised to the power n of a, right? So in this case, we saw that it was 2 raised to the third power, right? Because this set a had in three elements, okay? So therefore, the number of subsets is 2 raised to the power 3, and that's how we ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So let's look at an example, right? Here, question asks us to find the number of subsets of this set. Let's call this set big X, okay? So the number of subsets of X, right? So let's erase this here. The number of subsets of X is equal to 2 raised to the number of elements in X, which is equal to 2 raised to the fourth power, which is 16. So here we would have 16 subsets, right, associated with this set that's called X, all right? And before we close things off, we want to talk about the equality of sets, all right? So we say that two sets are equal if their members are all the same, right? Let's look at an example. So here I'll take one, two, three, four, right? Is equal to the same as four, three, two, one, okay? Notice that even if I should switch around two elements, right? As long as the members are all accounted for and they are all there, then the two sets are said to be equal. So if I have A, B, C, and one, two, three, these two sets are not equal, okay? That is it for this video. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe for future post notification.